Hello gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to another video. And guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking to y'all about Dragon Quest Treasures. But before we get into today's video, I do want to give a special th thank you and a special shout out to Square Enix for sponsoring this video and hooking me up with a review key for Dragon Quest Treasures on the Nintendo Switch. Now, right now, Dragon Quest Treasures is exclusively a game on Nintendo Switch. But I am kind of thinking and hoping this one might reach other platforms eventually. And this could be just a temporary exclusive thing. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. Square Enix has made no comment on that. But the Dragon Quest games are usually multi-platform. They're usually on PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. And I would assume it would be no different with this game. This game just had, you know, like the... Um, the monster catcher tamer element to it, so I'm assuming that's kind of why they went for that, um, that you know, exclusivity with Nintendo Switch. Because from a first glance, when you look at this game, when you look at the trailers and stuff like that, it gives you those Pokemon ish kind of vibe. You know, you got the two young, um, young Dragon Quest characters, um, they're running around catching monsters to help them out in battle and stuff like that. And from a first glance, this would look like you know. Dragon Quest meets Pokemon and in a sense that's kind of what you have but honestly not really um, and that's honestly what I enjoyed about this game because one reason I was really sketchy about going into it because I was just like man if Dragon Quest is making a Pokemon clone and there's already you know um, the new Pokemon games out there stuff like Temtem which is basically a Pokemon I'm just like I don't I don't need any more any more Pokemon clones, and I actually played this and I felt quite the opposite. Um, so the the monster catcher and tamer aspect is there, but Dragon Quest isn't a turn based catch monster use them in battle, you know kind of RPG. Instead, it is a hack and slash action RPG where you can catch monsters and they help you in combat take down other monsters, bosses, and, and things like that. And they just, you know, they add to your combat arsenal and they add more of an effect and everything for you to do more badass kind of things in combat. And that, from a sense, I found really cool. And I thought that was, you know, just um, an awesome thing. The combat in here is beautiful, 100%, you know, hack and slash. You also have, like, a um, a slingshot that you can fire at um, far away and high up enemies and stuff like that and also use to bring things down to a ground level, let's say, you know, like there's some loot up high hanging on something that you can't reach or anything like that. You can use your slingshot to shoot it down and, and different things like that. And there's all kinds, of, you know, different moves and benefits that the monsters give you to help you traverse the open world, help you get through dungeons and things like that. And I really just, you know, I'm really appreciative for that kind of play because honestly, from first glance, when I looked at Dragon Quest Treasures, I saw a Pokemon clone. I'm not going to lie about that. Now, when I play Dragon Quest Treasures, I'm going to tell you guys straight up. The kind of vibe I get from this game is very Zelda-ish and Zelda-y. And I'm, I'm talking, you know, all the way down to, you know, the characters. You got the young heroes um, trying to save the world. Well, and actually, in this game, they're really just, um, they're treasure hunters. They're going after, you know, some of the most, um... Some of the most great treasures over in their world and stuff like that. They meet some fellow pirates. There is a group of um, bad pirates that have done some things that, you know, they do want to go after. But for the most part, so far, the story is leaning more towards, you know, the treasure hunting, relic hunting aspect and, and, um, and stuff like that. But like I was saying before, and especially in that sense, the game gives me more, you know, like Zelda-like vibes than anything. Like, you know how in a lot of Zelda games you're going from, you know, uh... From you're in an open world and you're going from dungeon to dungeon or place to place, town to town, and you're in search of some type of artifact that's hidden deep within some dungeon that you need to get a certain amount of to access a certain thing at the end or build some kind of amazing weapon to take down some great enemy or anything like that. That's the kind of vibe that Dragon Quest Treasures is giving me. You do have, you know, this big badass band of pirates and and stuff like that that you're after. The characters just happen to be going after different treasures and things. You know, they're young and stuff like that. Every single different island in the game has like a different treasure that they're going after. You take it back to your hub home world. And, you know, that seems to be the kind of direction that the game's going in. Now, this is just a first impression, so I don't know that 
for sure. If you guys want to see a review on this, be sure to um, let me know that down in the comments below. But from so far from first glance, that's the kind of thing I can tell that this game seems to be going for. There's all kinds of different awesome, cool boss fights in here. The music even gives me Zelda-like vibes. Don't get me wrong, guys. It's a Dragon Quest game. It's in the Dragon Quest universe. It has Dragon Quest characters. I just, I don't know what it is. This game just makes me really feel that, you know, that Zelda like tone and you know that's one thing i appreciate about it. that's one thing that's you know draws me in and that's honestly you know what keeps me playing it's kind of weird how this went from you know a pokemon-ish first impressions to hey it feels like zelda <laughs> and maybe you know i might be one of the only people that um that feel that way but it just it really gives me you know those um those zelda like kind of vibes down to you know like i said the music the combat's very action Hack and slashy, you know, the, the lock-ons and, and stuff like that. The slingshot, that, <laughs> you know, that really doesn't help. And, you know, like I said, guys, it's just, it, it's a really fun action RPG for Nintendo Switch. I honestly think you guys should definitely check it out. And I hope to see it on more platforms in the very near future because um, I would honestly like to play this game in a higher fidelity on PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. But let me know how you guys are feeling down in the, in the comments below. Is Dragon Quest Treasure something you would like to check out? Let me know. Talk to me. But anyway, guys, y'all enjoyed today's video? Smash that like button. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.